Hello, today we're going to be troubleshooting how to fix a no boot situation which is caused by the registry either corrupted or missing, somehow inadvertently deleted. And what will happen is it'll keep booting to like, it'll try repairing your PC. It tries like start up repair, but it'll say it couldn't repair your PC. So we're going to go to advanced options, troubleshoot advanced options, command prompt. So we get to the command prompt and set it up for you. And the first thing we want to do is find our Windows installation. So it's not on C drive. So the drive letters can change in this recovery environment. So even though the operating system is installed on C when it, when it boots normally, it's not always the case here. So let's look on D, it's not there. Look on E, and there's our Windows folder. So that's how we found our Windows install. And then we're going to change the directory to Windows, I don't know if I can spell it correctly, backslash system32. And here we want to create a backup of our current config. So we'll make a directory called config back. And we're going to copy config to config back. So that copied all of our current configuration. And now we want to go to our reg back folder. So we're going to change directory config backslash reg back. And we'll do a DIR there. And this is our registry backup, which is automatically created by Windows. I think it's just uh, created at random intervals with a task or whenever you do a Windows backup, it'll create these files. So one thing you want to pay attention to is the date that they were created, because if these are like multiple years old, you know, like really old, you don't really want to restore something that old because they're going to lose all their configuration. So if there's just one that like if there's some newer ones and some older ones, just try to install the, the newer ones first to see if, if that will fix the problem. So what we're gonna do, restore all of these. I'm gonna do copy, star, space, dot, dot, backslash, star. And it'll ask us if we want to overwrite them. We'll say A for all. And it copied all of those high, high files, registry files from the regback folder to our config folder. So now we'll exit out of here and see if we're able to boot. Moment of truth. like it's booting now so that is something to try another possibility is like windows updates fails when installing and for that you'd want to do like a dism revert pending actions so this is just one scenario where restoring the regback folder can fix a no boot issue so i hope this helped you out Thanks for watching. Have a good day.